So we do another example now. You're going to need yourself a bit more space because we're going to have more steps on this. But we need to remember our key definitions. So I'm going to start off down here. Na2O. So what are my elements I need to start with? I need to start off with 2Na solid gradient plus O gas, half O2 gas. Brilliant, a half O2 gas. Right, I'm going to go through the same steps and we'll add the numbers later on. So, first one. Let's atomise our sodium. So, I'm going to turn my sodium solid into 2Na gas. I haven't done anything to my oxygen. So I've atomised, but how many sodiums have I got now? Two. Two. What does atomization? Atomization, the number you have given, is forming one mole. So what will I need to do? This isn't just atomization, it is two times delta H atomization of Na. Because I've got two of them. So the number that they'll give you is one for one mole. Because you've got to times that. We'll have to times that number by two. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's now, let's go through the same. So we're going to ionise. So I'm going to take my 2Na gas and turn it into 2Na plus gas. So you have two gas. Brilliant. I haven't done anything to my oxygen. How many electrons am I going to now have? Plus two. two electrons. That's two times delta range ionization of sodium. Sodium is pretty sorted now. So let's have a go at oxygen. I am now going to atomize my oxygen. Delta H atom of a half O2. That's okay, isn't it? I don't need to do anything to that number because I'm just taking a half O2 gas to make O gas plus two electrons. Right. Next step. I've got O, where will be the next where I go? Where do I normally go? The other side down. Electron affinity, I'm going to come down. You may want to just steady on for a minute. So I'm going to take one of those electrons and stick it on my oxygen. So I've now got 2Na plus gas plus O minus gas plus an electron. That's delta H first electron affinity of O. That is going to be exothermic. The second electron affinity, what, well, I've only got one on O, I need one minus on that O. I need to have two, so I've got to go up again. So that gives me 2Na plus gas plus O2 minus gas, like so. So that is delta H second electron affinity of O. And now these are my last two. What will this line represent? I've got Luscious all the way down. That is delta H lattice of Na2O. So down at the bottom here, I've got Na2O solid. And then this point here is delta 
combination I'm going to put the numbers on now. So this is going to be 2 times 108. This here, the ionization of sodium, is 2 times 496. The atomization of oxygen, I don't need to do anything, it's just 249. These are all periods of mole. This one we mess up on down because this is minus 141. I then go up because it's plus 790. That's the boy I want to find. This one is minus 440. The one where it's um, plus 790, what was that say? What? That's the second electron affinity of oxygen. So I've taken O minus an electron and put the electron onto the O minus to give me O2 minus. So it's a bit like, you know, like we have the second yeah. ionization energy, it's just like the second electron affinity. Mm -hmm. so, so if we work this out, so I would do this, so 2 times 108 is 260, 2 times 496 is 992, and you should be able to work out your delta H lattice on that. Delta H lattice is going to equal that number minus 414 minus 216 plus 992 plus 249 minus 141 plus 790. So you work out these brackets here. So if you can just bump that in your house, make sure you get the number that I get. And you should get minus 200. What do you notice about that number compared to the other one that we did? It's more negative. More negative. Why is it more negative, do you reckon? More exothermic. It's more exothermic. Anybody got an idea no, what? More what, what, what's going to be? This is a measure of my ionic bond strength. Greater ionic bond. Two electrons and two. Greater intermolecular. Not inter. Sorry. Greater, greater ionic, ionic bond. Ionic forces. What's the charge on that oxygen? Two minus. Two minus is going to have a, a, a yeah. Far. So we're going to start comparing that in more detail. But notice in this one, why do you reckon the second electron affinity is endothermic? Why is that? That's exothermic. Why is that? That's easy. Why is that quite easy for me to do? Because it wants to. Oh, yeah. 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 Altitude. yeah. Altitude is there. I'm giving it that electron is attracted to the nucleus. Is I give it to electrons, it's attracted. What about this? I've given this electron, what am I giving it to? Eh? Something that's Minus. already. Yeah, so I've got to push it, although it wants it, it wants that one out of the shell, it's still. So I'm putting a negative thing on something that's already mm -hmm. negative. So that's the tough, the tough thing to do. Right. 